IGTV land, folks. We are live. And here we go. Sunday, and I want to say what's up, y'all. Today, I got a very special friend that's on my Instagram that's uh, pretty much making waves right now. Uh, she's a East Coast foodie slash hot sauce enthusiast. And she goes out there on Instagram on her page talking about the lovely world of good food and good hot sauce. I want to introduce you to the, uh, the world, Instagram world, which you already know, uh, Miss Tara. Hello. Uh, from that of let go of my fuego, <laughs> right, right. So, Terry, uh, tell them who you are and what you do. Let them know. So, I'm Tara. Uh, my Instagram page is Lego My Fuego six six six. So, I basically started the page during the lockdown. I mean, there was not a lot to do, um, and I had to stay at home. So. And hot sauce was a huge passion of mine. So I was like, why don't I start reviewing hot sauces? And I was trying different things and people really loved the food pairing. So I started pairing the foods with the hot sauces along with my reviews and it just really took off. I mean, people love it. So exciting yeah. stuff. I don't know, with this quarantine thing, I was like, man, you know what? I, I could probably talk all day because folks are going to be home doing nothing anyway. So. Yep. Exactly. And so it worked out with perfect timing. <laughs> exactly. You know, you know, and uh, so uh, again, I'm going to ask, uh, what was it that, that, I mean, I know it was because of the, the whole, you know, COVID-19 situation and being at home and stuff, but uh, uh, what, what is it that, that, what's the passion that makes you do this, to get on here and talk about how did that all get started? Um, so, I mean, I've watched Food Network my whole life. Like, if, like I work in software. That's my job. That's my full-time job. But people ask me what my dream job is. And my dream job would be to be a food critic. I mean, I would just love to try food and, like, tell people what I think. So, I mean, writing reviews on Yelp and, like, going to different restaurants, trying new foods. That's always been my passion. Um, and hot sauce is also been my passion passion i mean i love spicy food i've loved spicy food since i was a kid i mean i grew up indian so spicy food is what we eat <laughs> um, and, uh, what would be the spiciest that you've ever tasted so far in this world in the spicy food industry what would be the hottest that you took a shot at out of curiosity um well i did the fuego box chocolate challenge um for my 500 follower post um, and then for my 2,000 follower post, which is coming up, I'm doing a death nut challenge. Um, so that will probably be the spiciest thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, yeah. you, you see celebrities face facial expressions off a of death nut, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, you know what's interesting? Uh, you know, it was one one of your favorites uh, that that's on your page, and you, uh, he's I think he's pretty doing pretty good himself. I noticed while I was in there uh, liking your post, Johnny Scoville is a follower <laughs> on your <laughs> on your page. I Freaking do. Johnny Scoville. Um, yeah. he, he came out with the spoon, like the Mother of Pearl spoon which is right. like a tasting spoon for hot sauces, and that changed my world. I mean, I can, like, tasting with a metal spoon and tasting with that spoon is just two different things. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I got my magic spoon. It's my magic, it's my magic <laughs> hot sauce spoon. I mean, plastic is better than metal, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it brings out the best in all hot sauce. <laughs> and I'll probably do a little sample right here. I got my little drink drink right here. <laughs> I, oh, you I got recommend me. you to, Oh man! Oh yeah! Oh, have you had it? 
It's a New Jersey it's sauce. Fun. That's where I'm from. Um, oh, okay. So yeah, I figured this would get your attention. Now, <laughs> now, now, I, I've been cooking with this for about a couple weeks now. Uh, there's a friend of mine who's doing very well with the Hank Sauce product. Mm-hmm. And, um, and yeah, we were at a, a winery. He was selling these bottles at a freaking winery. <laughs> <laughs> And, and, and this one right here makes some bomb uh, buffalo wings. Uh, he's got uh, some really nice aged cayenne peppers and some basil and olive oil in it. So it's like mad flavor. It's so good. He smokes some wings. Oh my God. You put that on there and twist it up. I like to twist things up a little, little way. I like some, if I want to go Hawaiian, I throw a little pineapple in it. And, you know, I, I do some crazy, crazy on it, you know? <laughs> but, you know, I just, it, I just like to take it in different directions. Right. But yeah, this is a good quality hot sauce. And I'm pretty sure, I don't know, this is kind of like old school right here. But <laughs> I, I do pretty well with this song. Like, I oh like my this God. song. <laughs> <laughs> that looks scary. <laughs> <laughs> this is out of New Jersey too, man. Uh, oh, Chef really? Blair. Yeah, Chef Blair. It came over some, he had a habanero mango, mango hot sauce. He came out and he called it the death sauce. I did and hear about that. Heard that one yeah, was one of those novelty ones that are just really spicy. <laughs> like 20 years, 20 years in. And I mean, it's like mid level hot sauce. It doesn't kill you, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but but it's like 20 years, you've been pushing hot sauce for 20 years. That tells me enough. I'm like, okay, yeah. I, I, I gotta I gotta get some Blair's and, and follow what Blair doing, because I gotta get yeah. Blair's energy, you know. They're on my list too. <laughs> so, in this, uh, you go ahead and uh, with the last couple of minutes here, you can go in and plug and tell everybody where to find Tara and Lego My Fuego. So, I'm on Instagram as Lego My Fuego 666, um, all one word. Um, and I'm just on Instagram right now. I mean, I have videos on YouTube, but those are really just for my mom to see because she doesn't have Instagram. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> One, one social media platform at a time, please. You know, it's like, yes. <laughs> totally understand. <laughs> Still learning the ropes. And, and uh, I was explaining to you, like, I mean, what's, what's cool about doing this is that, look, sometimes on a live chat, I'll see like 20 plus people. Sometimes I just see two. But I still treat it as if, because the main conversation is me and you chatting about stuff. So, right. you know, but but trust me, people are actually watching. They, are, they just they just stare from afar. But right. uh, of course, this video is going to be shown like probably for two days on our storyboard. So yeah. that's what's so cool about it. Yeah, yeah I mean, so, I appreciate uh, you doing this. It's a great thing to bring followers together, um, people together. So keep doing it. You know, I mean, honestly, I can do this. This can be a whole eight hours job for me. <laughs> I can run my about hot sauce and food, this and that all the time. But I figured I'm just going to uh, give people a spoonful of me one at a time. <laughs> 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 at all that, I'm like, Ali, man, go away, you know. <laughs> but yeah, it's all for the joy of good food and good spices, right? right. So I appreciate you for uh, getting on here and chatting with uh, with the Instagram world, sharing it with Thank my followers, you. and to share with your followers. So that was awesome. Uh, shout out to everybody that did join. I appreciate you. Uh, David J. Rayner joined all of them. Uh, Paranormal Peppers, that's my guy. I love that, <laughs> I love that guy. Hey, I think he follow you too, you know? Yeah, he's, um, he's on my list. Yeah, so you have a blessed one, and thank you so much, and I'd love to chat with you again sometime. Of course, thank you. Take it easy. All right, that was fun. Uh, man, I got some football. Uh, well, I got some some football. Got some coaches, some football lovers, some sports fanatics. Larry Brady, I know everybody. What up? Ah, oh, shoot, coach. I ain't been in Philly Market in about since 2016. <laughs> I've been in Texas. Uh, once I left from there. Uh, a lot of the products that I had there, they were they were bought up. Um, I'm currently working on uh, getting my co-packing. I'm trying to work with. I'm, I've been back and forth working with a co-packer, trying to get some products out that way now. 
So I'm just taking it to a different level. But trust me, when it does happen, I'm going to make sure my, my uh, folks at uh, Mac Equality Meats be the first one at Fender Market to get it because he came through for me uh, when I was first selling down there in Cincinnati. So that was all good. Good to, call, good to chat with you. Uh, I got to let y'all go. There's dinner to tend to. So y'all have a blessed one. All right, big O.